Mother lives at the Shady Pines retirement home. Oh, the Shady Pines. I know the Shady Pines is a lovely place. It's a prison. <laughs> they lock us in our rooms and force us to look like we're having fun. <laughs> then they take pictures for their brochure. Is this Sophia? Well, you must be Blanche's sister. And you must be blind. <laughs> Sophia's home just burned down. Well, that's terrible. Not to me. It was a retirement home, and you know what they did? They set off the fire alarm in a retirement home. Who can rush? Half the people have walkers. The other half can't get out of their chairs. But they got bills going off like crazy. You know what that does to hearts that only beat a few times a week? It's not pretty. <laughs> Something smells good in here. What's for lunch? It's cat food, Sophia. Is that seafood medley? <laughs> yes, it is. They used to feed that to us every Sunday at the home. Oh, they did not make you eat cat food at Shady Pines. I didn't say they made us eat it. You have the option to go hungry. <laughs> Boy, we had some great times at the home, didn't we, Ida? <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> Dorothy. Ida was the best bar nun at faking an angina attack at dinner. So we could swap our non-fat yogurt for real sour cream. <laughs> there wasn't a patient at Shady Pines that didn't bless Ida Perkins every time he sat down to eat a baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's checking me into a, a lovely retirement home called Shady Pines. <laughs> That's great. Come on out to the line. I'll give you the lowdown on Shady Pines. You know, who does what for cigarettes? <laughs> All right, all you gals are gonna get locked up in a closet. And us boys are going for a little walk. Wow. Were you ever activities director of a place called Shady Pines? <laughs> You've known Sophia before. Yes, she was one of the residents a few years ago at a place I work called Shady Pines. But to tell you the truth, I don't think that she'll remember me. Ma, I'm sure you re ah! <laughs> What are you doing? I'm rolling for my life. <laughs> you hired the angel of death from Shady Pines. Ma, don't be ridiculous. She is not the angel of death. She is a private nurse with excellent references. And for the last time, Shady Pines is a very reputable rest home. I'm telling you, Dorothy, they used to pre-sell our bodies to medical schools. <laughs> that was the big joke. How would you like to go to college? <laughs> Now, where's my patient? Don't you mean victim? Ma. <laughs> Why don't you join us for lunch? Join you for lunch? Let me check my social calendar. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm free. Ma, that calendar's from 1984. Oh, yeah, this is the day I escaped from Shady Pines. It says right here, I'm free, I'm free. <laughs> Mrs. Petrillo, where were you on the night of September 4th, 1985? Did you see Awakenings? Throw a ball at me. <laughs> should I know? I don't even remember what color underwear I'm wearing. Ma, the beginning of September. That's when Shady Pines burned down and you came here to live with us. Oh, yeah. I'm not wearing underpants. Uh, Mrs. Petrillo, were you acquainted with the late Maria Hartgrove? She died? Good riddance. God rest her soul. We have a deathbed confession from her stating that the two of you started the Shady Pines fire. What? That's ridiculous. What did you do? She claimed that on the night of the fire, the two of you were in your room cooking s'mores. Nonsense. I don't even know what s'mores are. You remember, Sophia. They're those little toasted graham cracker and chocolate sandwiches. With marshmallow. Don't forget the marshmallow. <laughs> Whoops. In her deposition, Mrs. Hartgrove said that you were in possession of an illegal hot plate. Now, while the two of you were cooking, the curtains caught on fire. Then you panicked and fled, and the fire continued unchecked. Now, wait just a minute. This is crazy. Do you have any proof? Did anybody find that alleged hot plate? Presumably, it was lost in the fire. Maria was just out to get me. She was always jealous because I still had my own hair. Ma, I haven't seen you all morning. Where have you been? I went to see my friend Lily. Lillian at Shady Pines? Oh, you remember Shady Pines. That retirement home you stuck me in that resembles Sing Sing. <laughs> my mistake, Sing Sing has a movie night. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's a riot! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I pulled once on old man Peterson after we saw Psycho at the home. They had said he would never walk again. He walked. Well, good night. Sweet dreams. Where's Blanche? Oh, she said to save her a seat. She saw a man smiling at her out in the hall. Everybody's smiling here. I haven't seen so many goofy smiles since the great dentures swap at Shady Pines. Oh, why can't we wear something simple in basic black? It's a bad idea, Dorothy. You wear black at Shady Pines, they'll stop the show for a head count. Oh, Blanche, remember a few days ago when I said your car was making a funny kind of a noise sometimes? Uh-huh. Well, it's making it all the time now. Uh-oh, that's a bad sign. Those are the sounds Tony Triano made the night they wheeled him out of the home on a gurney. All right, now, Rose, go on. I don't want dead people in my house. People, we are talking about one man who is probably sleeping. You don't think I can recognize death? I lived in a retirement home. Death visited more often than children. You can't give a good birthday party without a cake. Yeah, I seem to recall a party with three cakes that was not so terrific. Three cakes? Yeah. Rose had planned a surprise birthday party <gasps> for me. You were still living at Shady Pines. You mean the home. Say it, Dorothy, the home. Oh, by the way, Ma, when I was at the library, they said that your library card had expired five years ago. Really? Where could I have been? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Locked in an old age home. I had a terrible nightmare. Was it the recurring dream where you're a lonely old woman and your family doesn't want you, so they put you in a home and never come to see you or take you out on holidays? Yeah. That wasn't my dream. Oh, yeah, right. That was my life. <laughs> Ma, please, for the hundredth time, Shady Pines was a beautiful retirement village. Sure, sure. And Attic is known for its top-notch tennis facilities. <laughs> A nightmare. Tell me about it, Sophia. Sometimes I can interpret dreams. Blanche sold the house, and I wound up back at Shady Pines. Hmm. This is a tough one. <laughs> Darby, please don't send me back. Ma, I am not sending you back to Shady Pines. Oh, my God. She found a cheaper home. Ma, we're going away for the weekend. Just the two of us. So pack your bags. We're off to a cabin in the Keys. Wait a minute, Darby. You pulled this one on me once before. Remember Shady Pines Retirement Village? <laughs> she told me we were going to a resort. We pull up to this place that looks like the Bates Motel. <laughs> and two goons in white coats drag me inside, and for the next year and a half, I'm forced to make lanyards against my will. Ma, you know that's not how it was. You're right. Sometimes they force me to make moccasins. <laughs> no thanks. Ma, look at this place. It's lovely. Don't get any ideas, pussycat. I'm not getting any ideas, Ma. You're scheming. Remember Shady Pines, Dorothy? Honest Ma, this is the way to the new Dairy Queen. Honey, a trip to the hospital is the best thing for you. You think I'm stupid? This scam has Shady Pines written all over it. Ma, that's ridiculous. Why would I take you to Shady Pines when you have a hernia? You took me there after I had a stroke? <laughs> Listen, Ma, I made an appointment for you for 2 o'clock this afternoon. Either you go and get your hearing checked, or I will make life miserable for you. Oh, come on. You said the exact same things to me before you took me to Shady... I'll go pretty up. <laughs> Hello. I'm a Baptist. Sister, is it all right if I sit in? I don't think my mother would mind. Think again. I'd go outside, but there don't seem to be any shady pines to sit on. Hello, pussycat. So, as is tradition, I am ready to accept your various gifts and offerings. You may begin, Dorothy. I appreciate your sense of ritual, Ma, but... Just so you know, I still have Shady Pines on the speed dial. <laughs> Moving on. Listen, you vindictive little sea monkey. <laughs> you are going to tell Rose the truth. Or? Remember Shady Pines? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't so bad. I hear they sold it to some Germans. Rose? <laughs> Rose, sweetheart, Rose! Now listen up, you withered old Sicilian monkey. 
take this. Keep it up and I'll take you to Shady Pines. That's where I take you. Ouch. Guess I backed into that one. What are you so happy about? If I know my Dorothy, there's only one thing that makes her this happy. You're going back to Shady Pines? <laughs> No, you moron. She has a date. Oh, gosh. I haven't frolicked since... Ah, well, since, since the day I dropped my mother off at Shady Pines. <laughs> Coincidentally, that was the last time I did a cartwheel. <laughs> it was a good day. In your own words, Mrs. Petrillo, the words of a beautiful, dignified person who's got a wild bod for a chick her age. <laughs> what kind of person is your daughter? She put me in a home. <laughs> Isn't it a fact that you have a drawer full of retirement home brochures and you're just waiting for the first sign of dribble on your mother's chin to lock it away forever? <laughs> she, she's kidding. <laughs> Your sock drawer, Dorothy, you know the... The one you know who can't reach? I knew you were keeping pictures there, but I had no idea. You disgust me. Look, I don't have to stand for Nail this. Nail her, Rose. Nail her. Remember, a good reporter always gets a story no matter what. That sock drawer is my business. Look, those times that Mom makes me crazy, I go into my room and have some pretend time, okay? <laughs> This is Rose Nyland signing off in a sad, sad situation. Oh, Ma, I don't know if he'll ever forgive me. Dorothy, the day you left me at Shady Pines, do you remember what I told you? Of course. You told me you'd never forgive me. But look at us now. Everything's fine. Well, are you saying that no matter how bad things are between Michael and me, they'll change? No. I'm saying that when Michael is 83 and his retirement home burns down, you're... Oh. That's right. You'll be dead. <laughs> See you, pussycat.